the Zeus fasteners are very common and simple to install and to use. Comes with a slotted head. The fastener has a special channel where it will grip the special Zeus spring. And this spring will be mounted underneath the lip and the fastener will catch the wire spring down below after we twist it. So let's t take a look at how to install this properly. The first step is to drill a hole in both the cover and the underlying lip. This hole should be large enough to allow the fastener to go in quite easily. In fact, if there's a bit of play, that is just perfectly fine. It will help make alignment easy. Then we are going to place the spring. The spring has a flat side where it sits very nice. If you turn it over, it doesn't sit too good. So that's the way the spring is going to fit just like that. Now to get the perfect alignment, we simply insert the fastener upside down through the hole and give it a twist. So I've inserted the fastener upside down and I'm going to center the spring. And then through these two holes, I'm going to drill a 1 8 inch hole. Now it makes sense to mark one, drill it, and then put in a Clico and then use your drill bit to drill through the center of the hole so you get exact alignment. So we're simply going to make two 8 inch holes through the center of these coiled springs and then we will disassemble this. Okay, and we got the two holes drilled. Now it's hard to see, we're looking at an angle, but if you were to look straight down on top of that, the wire is going through the center of the hole. And I have one hole clecoed and the other hole drilled. What we're going to do now is remove the spring And since the spring is actually going to go underneath and we're going to rivet from the top, we want to dimple these two holes because remember our cover is going to come down and we want it to go down flat. So we can't have a couple of bumps from our rivets sitting in these two holes. So take your dimpler and I have one of these uh, vice grip type dimplers. You may have a squeezer type dimpler, it doesn't matter as long as you get the dimpling done. And I'm going to come in here. That a squeeze. And give that a squeeze. Then I'm going to go get my rivet. and they fit nice and flat. Now we're simply going to turn our spring around and place it upside down, well, rather on the underside of the lip is what I meant to say. And I'll go ahead and pull the rivet one at a time for each of these. Holding the spring up tight to the bottom of the lip And there we go, it's a nice flat to the lip. And then I will insert my second rivet. There we go. So no interference with the lid on top of there because we dimpled and we kept our rivets flat. And now what that allows is when we put the cover on, This will fit in nicely and with a dime or a screwdriver, whichever is more handier. I spent my last dime, so I'll use a screwdriver. And it is held securely in place. Now when we have the cover, there will be resistance on top. See on the bottom how the spring grabs and releases with a twist. Now the only thing left 
is some people complain once they open up the fastener, the fastener will come out of the cover also. There is a snap ring which can be obtained that is installed around the fastener and prevents it from falling out from the cover. This will be tight and under pressure when the thickness of the cover is underneath. Here is a cross-sectional view of the Zeus fastener. Notice the red arrow indicates the location of the snap ring that holds the fastener in place with the cover. Also notice that depending on the thickness of the cover and the mounting surface below, the fastener will need to be of a proper length in order for it to function properly. These fasteners are ordered by their length and this diagram shows the dimensions used in a catalog for purchasing. Here are examples of two Zeus fasteners of two different lengths. Here is an example of a access door on a cowl using a hinge on one end and two Zeus fasteners at each corner. It was created by designing a reinforcing ring and note the two Zeus springs created at each corner and then when mounted here's what the door looks like. Zeus fasteners are also available in a wing variety. They are also just one quarter turn to latch and unlatch.